So I'm going to extend the mezzanine in this direction. I'm going to rise it up a little bit higher um, because I don't want it to be claustrophobic when you walk in the door. So the base of it needs to be a little bit higher than the rest. And the reason I want to do this is I think that's a nice space there where I can store long pieces of timber like this stuff which is taking up a lot of space on the mezzanine currently. I think that's a good spot for it. It's wasted space otherwise. And it's all about this whole workshop here is all about maximizing space while still allowing two cars to come in at night. My neighbor had this left over on a job, landscaping job, but I'm going to use it for my mezzanine extension over there, bolt this onto the wall, that'll give me plenty of support on that side, and then I'm using the metal shelving of the mezzanine itself as the support on the other side. So, thank you to Carly and Trent for a big sleeper. I'll measure three times. Just because the camera was pointed the wrong way. Nineteen hundred and eighty mils. <laughs>
left over from cutting the first noggins and it's an absolute perfect fit for that spot just tap it into place it's snug as so I don't even have to cut it I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna build around it Now that I sort of know what I'm doing, I might let you watch me do the next one. So I've got this cross brace in here, which makes it really solid, rigid. So if I put another one in, that'll just finish it off nicely. I'm not clever enough to work out the angles for this. So I'm doing it by eye. on the bandsaw. do me for today I'm happy with that progress and it worked out for a change not central on the beam. If I'd have thought of it in time, I'd have cut that sheet thinner as well, so that that line was down the middle. And since I'm trying to do a really nice job on this, I don't like that line off center. So how do I fix it? Well, I probably can't fix it so that the line goes back to the center unless I unless I yeah but then I'd have a line over there so what I might do and this is probably be this is probably a bit silly but I might actually cut that shade so that there's a second line on that side. 
Is that silly? Cutting that sheet just so there's an extra line there so it looks even. I think that might actually be silly. Not that I'm averse to doing silly things, but I think that might be silly. So I think what I will do is get a texture or a can of paint or even a strip of gaffer tape, black gaffer tape, and cover that crack. Then it won't be so obvious. Ah, yeah, I could do that. I could put a strip of black gaffer tape to cover the crack and then put a second strip of black gaffer tape on that side to make it balanced without cutting the board. I'm glad I'm glad I thought of that. So there you go, that's another project done. It may not be an engineering marvel or even pretty, but it did create a lot of storage in otherwise dead space. So I'm very happy with it. Um, mostly pallet wood, some bought bits that I needed for another project, which I'm going to edit the video for fairly soon. But mostly pallet wood and uh, all shapes and sizes and terrific piece of storage. And the black gaffer tape is so unobtrusive I completely forgot it was there until I edited the video. So it worked in the end.